Hey, this is Brogan with Gamespresso. Another day of this war of mine. Look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. Good haul. Good haul. Oh dear. <laughs> it is getting worse. <sighs> Maybe I should have grabbed those meds. Man, I don't even have food. Okay, so let's let's have Marco wrist up. Ooh. Well. So like, see, now everyone's, everyone's hungry because they haven't had food. Uh, Erica's tired because she was up guarding all night. Marco's tired because he was scavenging. And I managed to sleep, but I'm sick. So hopefully staying in bed will, will make me, will make me get a little better. Or, if nothing else, prevent it from making it worse. That's the last thing we need right now. Okay, so let's make a better stove. That way we can maximize whatever food we have. So let's see if we can cook up a meal. Uh, we only got enough for, or to feed one. We only have enough food for one person. Now the thing that you'll find out is that um, if the characters have status effects like hungry, sick, and so forth, the more effects they have and the more severe they have, the worse things will get for them all. And so I want to, I want to feed Brogan. I'm just gonna start calling them by names, even though it's, even though it's technically me. I have him walk. Um, so now that he's he's been fed, he only has to deal with the sick. So maybe the sickness won't be so bad now. As for Arika, I'm gonna craft something else. Next, let's make a radio. See if we can upgrade this. That way we can build rat traps. Yes, we can. We have enough supplies. So Erica's building the radio, and Marco's uh, building our craft our crafting table. Now you want to check the radio. Wow, that sounds weird. <laughs> Uh, you want to check the radio every day because you will receive updates on, like, all the different channels. So here's, um, yeah, the weather channel. Oh, everything's nice. Is everything going fine? Perfect weather for death. So, like, there's two, like, music stations. This one's classical music. Uh, this one at the far end is... 
pretty awful. Let's see. Come on. Where's the... Oh, there's the news stations. There's the other... There should be two other news stations. One of them keeps track of... of trade value, like, you know, which items are sought after, like, you know, if, this, if the city doesn't have enough cigarettes, like, if you trade cigarettes, they'll fetch more. Ugh. Well, I can't find the... I can't find the station. No, no. We want music. So now? Yeah, man. Let's build a rat trap. Let's. Ah, we don't have enough. Another thing that you probably want to do is you may want to have a piece of pen and paper by your side. That way you can start making a grocery list of what you need and of what you need to grab and bring back with you next time you go out. So in total I need five wood, ten components, and ten parts. And so I also keep track of how much I need, so I need so, sorry, how much I have. Write that down too, because then, you know, you might forget. So I have two, three, and three. Let's take a moment to read their profiles. So Erica, she's really good at stealth abilities, and her diction is that she's a smoker. I'm a simple girl from the hood, and I know life. Street raised me more than my father did. That old sot beat me whenever he felt like it, and knew how to make it hurt. That's all over now. He bit the dust in the first days of the war. I've been a cat burglar since I turned 13, 14. <clears throat> you know how it is. I'm better than anyone you know, and I can sneak like a fox. You'd be a fool kicking me out. Uh, Marco, a skilled scavenger, that basically means that he has a pretty decent combat ability and he has uh, a lot of inventory spaces to bring lots of stuff back. Uh, he doesn't have any addictions, it seems. I thought I'd been through hell before. I'm a fireman. I've entered blazing buildings to save lives more times than I can remember. But back then I had people teamed up against a common foe, namely the fire. Nowadays, your former neighbor can kill you because your grandparents spoke a different language than his. This is true hell on earth. And here's me. Sick me. So I picked my background, and so like, none of your like physique or gender really affects your, stati your stats. It's really the background. Persuasive, I, I think means that I'm really good at trading, and so when, I, when we encounter people to trade items with, I'm really able to get better prices to get more bang for my buck, so to speak. The fucking siege one. I couldn't have come at a worse moment. I have a girlfriend, Kate. We first met during a student exchange in the UK. She came to Bagoran for a holiday and moved here to stay. We just finished paying off our flat, and we're about to get married. When we got news of the siege, she managed to board one of the last planes before that left before the airport got closed. I didn't. It's been about three years since I last saw her. No letter came. I'm worried. <laughs> you bet I'm worried. I'm dying here. A lot of people are dying. Hopefully not us. We seem to be doing all right. We've already got a stove crafted, and the earlier you upgrade the stove, the the more resources you save when you're making food. 
That's the thing you want to you want to craft the things that you want as early on as you can uh, that way you save more resources in the long run you don't want to craft like a weapon workshop if you like don't have any weapon parts because then you'll just be wasting stuff if you click up in the um, in the corner under our things it shows like just kind of a general overview of what you have and what kind of condition your shelter's in. Fortunately, our shelter's a place where we can get some respite from war. We only have one chair. We have one bed, but we could use more. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on hard concrete. We've made a radio, and we're listening to it. We really miss books. A good book could help us forget the horrors of war. Staying here offers some slight respite in these hard times. Uh, then it lists off your addictions, and so uh, I think Marco and my character don't have any addictions. But uh, Erica consumes three cigarettes a day. Um, I don't smoke in real life, so I'm not sure how much of it is. But we also have some breaches in our walls, and our security, our shelter is not safe, and we have to constantly be on guard. With crafting tables, you can like patch these, and without them, like at night, it's easier for guard for people to come in and like invade your home <laughs> tough call because everyone's everyone's tired or sick I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send me out maybe I should send Marco Again, weird decision. If I send out Marco, I can bring back three more items. But if they're both sleeping... Like, it's early on in the game, so there's a low chance that we'll get raided. If they're both sleeping. But on the other hand, I don't want my condition to get worse. And I want to bring back as much as possible. But I don't want Marco to get worse by not having any sleep or food. I, hopefully there's some food that I missed over in there. Meet Brogan sleep in bed and Erica sleep as well just to just to get some rest. I'm hoping that we don't get raided. And then we'll send Marco out to to kind of clean whatever the rest is in that cottage. I think it was the fridge that I didn't get to, so hopefully there's some food there. Yes! Oh, a lot of food. Let's see, I got everything up top, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I got everything. See, like that, that like blip there? That's a mouse. But sometimes it's a person, and they make about the same size uh, mark. So it could be it could be kind of tricky because you're not sure if like what's up there is a mouse or a person. Now obviously they're not gonna throw a person out if you're like been through the rooms and all that, but like usually you can tell. Right, I think we've gathered everything up that we need to. See, like, yeah, here's the broken pistol that was mentioned in last episode. Let's, let's just pile it all in here and then take what we want. So we definitely want meds for me. And you don't want to, like, take, take 
you know, if there's like two meds, you don't want to leave one in there because you want to because you want to stack up that inventory space as much as you can. We also want the food, of course. Uh, we don't need the coffee. No one has any coffee addictions, but they might be useful to trade later on. Should I take the herbal meds? The herbal meds have a have a chance of making you better, but if you're trading, the good meds fetch a higher price. So if if this cures me, sorry, if this cures me, it would be a more efficient use. But if it doesn't cure me, I've just I've just wasted it. And it's this is pretty good for trading too, but not as good as this stuff. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I just need water for food much parts as we can. Um. Well, we don't need ammo yet, because we don't have any guns. A uh, book will... Like, your characters um, automatically read books. You Like, you don't necessarily have to, like, sit in a chair or anything for it to happen. Uh, what did I say I needed? Oh, uh, yeah. Need some wood. said I needed seven components when I wrote it down, so eight should do fine. Uh, we need seven parts. We still are missing quite a bit. Now, it's been this it's been a few days, so the trader will probably show up next. So I think what we should do is we should grab a bunch of items that would be useful to trade. Um, the ammo for one. The shell casings. Uh, these are used to craft ammo, but um, the workshop that builds that is pretty is pretty expensive, so it's unlikely that we'll ever need that. Uh, the coffee, definitely. And let's bring back the meds. And then just for for kicks, let's bring back some more. Let's see. Let's bring more components. No, 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 wait. Let's bring the moonshine. Or the the sugar. You can use sugar to craft uh, craft moonshine. Which will, uh, which is just alcohol that, like, if your characters become depressed and they drink alcohol, they, they get drunk that night and are useless that night, and then they get hungover for the rest of the day. But they're eventually cured of sadness by alcohol. Uh, by alcohol. <laughs> That's pretty grim, right? Um... Yeah. The alcohol can also be distilled and uh, used to make. What was it? Oh yeah, uh, to make bandages. But bandages are for if you're wounded. If you're not going to be playing a very combat-heavy role, you don't need bandages. Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, catch you guys later.